Awesome. Welcome back in everybody. We're going to get right to it. We're going to be talking about date, date time, and time data types in Zoho Deluge. So hopefully this won't get too dry. <laughs> They're all very similar though, so you'll pick up on these really fast. Okay, so let's get right into it. So a date is just going to be your variable on the left side of the equal sign with your date on the right side with a single quote. Okay, we could go ahead and print that. So we can see what we're looking at. We can do a lot of different really cool built-in functions with your date. You can add a day and enter in the amount of days you'd like to add. You can add a business day. And just so we could definitely tell we're adding business days, I'm going to add five. So you can see this is the 15th. When you add five days, it's actually going to be this 22nd meaning it added a weekend as well. Okay, I'm not going to go through each of these methods because they're very, very similar. But you have the add hour, add day, um, add month, week, and then everything we did with addition you could also do with subtraction. Okay. There's also the get month. Okay, so you could do my date get month, and it should give us back the month in number form. And same thing for year and day. And that is the date. Okay, look at that. We've already learned one of the three. Looking at date time, it's going to be just about the exact same thing. So it's also going to include the time. And that is going to be an hour, hour, um, minute, minute, second, second format. Okay, let's go ahead and print that so we can see what we're looking at here. Just like that. And just like what you did with date, you can also do with date time. Just to prove it to you, I'm going to add a month. Let's add five months, okay? Look at that. And then look at that. We're in January. You can do everything else that you used with date and appointment date time, otherwise known as the date time um, data type. Last data type I'm going to talk about briefly here is just the time. And that is just going to be the back half of your date time. One thing I would like to point out, it's not a very good use case to use your time without attaching it to a date. Okay, it could get a little bit messy. Um, if you would like, you could attach it to a date, detach it, do some manipulations on that time, and then add it back. Totally okay. But I would, however, probably recommend using against using just the time data type and sticking to that date time or date. Thank you so much.